update part two. Got the column in. I just got back from a little drive. He's gonna hear my turbo thing ever so slightly fading now, but uh, just got done dry, taking her for a little spin. And I can tell you, infinitely tighter and quiet. I don't hear a rattle or nothing. Oh, man, it's rewarding. It's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> from the door handles on the red truck and and uh, getting I put a new brake line on the driver's front because the one that was on here had a little uh, hole in the sheath and it you know it was probably gonna blow open eventually but I don't have to worry about that now and uh, everything about this column is better everything everything feels newer it's not as loose it's everything has got good tension to it does it's not 350,000 miles worth of use and abuse i mean even the freaking cover doesn't even have the screws in there or nothing because i don't have the screws for this truck nor did this column have screws for the plastic covers unfortunately but this cover is just rock solid tight it's not popping open like the old one was climb in here for a second and everything i mean other than the dirt you can still see i haven't cleaned the wheel itself i have tried to clean it a little bit just to see how it would clean up because they see all this cracking and i'm like now is that just dirt or is that actual leather or vinyl cracking but um it's kind of like with the dirt that was all over the shifter. I mean, look at this shifter. It looks brand new now compared to the old one. Um, and the switch. I mean, from what it was when I showed you how dirty it was, nasty looking. I mean, this kind of level of textured dirt was all over everything. And it just, it looks so much better. It feels like a new truck. The shifter's a lot tighter. It, it, it shifts between drive and manual really nice because before you, you would drop down to, you know, manual fine, but when you'd go back up into drive, it would go like that before it even, you got any tension to go into drive. And then you're like, oh, it moves so much. I don't want to pop it in neutral while I'm doing 75 down the freeway or something. You're like, oh. Thunk. Oh, okay back and drive all right but now this one is just it's a lot tighter it just beautifully goes down into manual and it very nicely goes right back up into drive without much effort so that is wonderful i did end up having to do a security relearn if you're going to do a council swap or council a column swap the one thing you got to remember is uh take the electric um I don't know what you want to call it, the electric part of the ignition. It's just this black cube down here. There's two tabs you just uh, push in with a uh, um, a pick. Just push in each tab. It'll pull, pull, pop out. Before you hook your batteries back up, your battery, whatever you got, make sure you put your old ignition cube electrical cube back up in there um, because i had the one from this column in there and the truck didn't recognize it now with gas engines if security light was flashing and most of the time people have a no start condition but i'm thinking the diesels don't have that as much uh, because my security light was flashing i was able to start it up multiple times no problem so just remember and then you got to do the 30 per 30 minute uh, relearn procedure which is 10 minutes on wait for the light to go off after 10 minutes shut it off do it do it for a um, total of three times and on that third time shut it off and start it back up and then you start it so you just leave it in the run 10 minutes without it starting the engine blah 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 <sighs> but my goodness, it just is so much tighter. It is awesome. I'll just show you quick what the old one looked like. I just left it sitting in the bed of the truck here. Uh, I took the, the blinker switch off just because of the, uh, it's still good. So I was going to sell it or something. But I mean, just look how old and used that is. And it's just not as pretty at all. It's really really kind of fugly and it makes the truck look old now here's a big warning i will strongly recommend to you guys do not use dorman bearings um i don't know if you'll be able to see this it's got a ratcheting action to it you can hear it kind of you can just see how it just wants to sit in a position a lot of that has to do with the bearing i put on here 
Now, this whole bearing rotates and jiggles and wiggles and everything else when I try and wiggle that. I left the bear, the original bearing in that column that I just put in, because that was in. It was half. It was tighter than this, and this has double the slop that one did. So I mean, it's just infinitely better. The other one. Don't use Dorman bearings. You can tell it's Dorman because yeah. And it was the only one Rock Auto had, if I'm not mistaken. So, but uh, yeah, this this column's seen quite a few miles, and I'm I don't even know what all it saw. I just know it was living hell to a steering column is what it saw. So, garbagey. But now I didn't even know that was down there. Oops, I left it on. Oh well. Anyway, so yeah, it's a really simple job. And I would recommend that you, um, unless you need a new clock spring, that you would leave your original wiring in place and just disconnect everything from up top, all your pigtails and everything. And then there's one at the very bottom of the column, uh, right on that, sh on one of the shift selector components. <clears throat> There's one on there, but otherwise you just disconnect all those. There's four bolts to the column. And it just comes right out, and it is just super easy to do. So uh, there's nothing to keep you from doing a column swap. Just remember the electrical cube and the ignition, because otherwise... That, I don't know if that, that'll actually work. I'm just assuming it will, because it's the original ignition that it sees you shouldn't have a problem but it like did like i did and i didn't even think about it and i, I was just like why is it flashing i didn't do anything with security and i was like well that ignition thing uh, because uh, i don't know my mind was thinking about many different things but that ended up being what it was just do a quick relearn you're good to go because there's nothing in the column itself that has to do with security, all those pigtails you disconnect. On these trucks, at least. If you've got like an Envoy or something, something that uses a chipped key, I don't know if the Envoys do or not, but something that uses a chipped key, then obviously um, you're gonna wanna try and use your original ignition components if it's not too much of a hassle. But the clock spring is easy too. It's just a snap ring that holds it in. And it, I mean, I literally undid the steering wheel bolt and I was able to wiggle and pry it with my hands and, and it came right off. And then uh, you just disconnect them wires. There's the horn, you gotta push in. And I, for me, it turned to the left and it came out. I think you might be able to turn it to the right. I think, I don't know that it really matters as much. It might, I might. So just try and go to the left. Um, it will kind of have resistance. You just push in and turn the horn and pull it out. And uh, once you see it, you'll know. But, I mean, it's it's really, really simple to, to mess with these trucks. And it's not hard to fix anything that's going on. So a, a nice low mileage column is probably out of a work truck or something. J judging by all the dirt and whatnot. I mean, look at all that. That is literally just dirt just dirt that'll clean up it's just disgusting at how much level of dirt there is on absolutely everything of the steering wheel but i mean the steering wheel is in better shape than the one that was in here because the leather was actually peeling up and off so and everything about this column is just better i am just thrilled to the moon and back it's just that is awesome it's like a brand new truck to me the starter sounds good and the column is brand new and tight mm. So the only thing I got to do, I got to paint the door panels this color, the seats that color, and um, I'm going to try and do a Denali interior swap, which is just the bezel, this face, fascia, and the cup holder area um, with the wood trim kind of looking thing. And I'm not going to go all Escalade, but Denali will look nice. So, and I might even do like the wood grain window switches even though this isn't crew cab they did have extended cab denalis but they still had black surrounds they didn't do a wood trimmed for the extended cab denalis unfortunately so i'll probably just have an open spot there or something or maybe i'll find a way to glue a little cubby little penny cubby or something on the where the switches are supposed to go and just have something like that there but uh that'd actually be really cool but because uh you know the it's got the spot for two switches so it'll just be an open spot if i just use this switch in a you know a four windowed vehicle switch thing with the wood grain that'll look nice though and the passenger side's the same 
there it's just one switch there's no extra buttons or nothing so i can pop that right in and be good to go but yeah and then we'll paint the dash so there's no more black spots and stuff and this truck will look brand spanking new you won't even be able to tell that it's got 357 50 going on 58 i mean just look at it does it look like it's got 357,000 miles I'm getting used to the hood gap. It doesn't even really bug me that much anymore. The only thing is the bed. But you know what? I love having a bed you can beat up. I mean, it looks like they dropped a couple goosenecks in it. But, um, I mean, we were cutting down a tree in the backyard this weekend. And I literally was just like, oh, let's use my truck. I just put the ladder in the bed of the truck, stand up and on it. And, I mean, a couple branches. One branch hit pretty good. Chipped some paint. And, uh. I think it did this scratch down here but uh and then it did up on the roof too <laughs> got the roof at the same time and uh, i think that's about it up here but yeah it, it left a few scratches but you know just having a truck you can beat up is really nice so obviously i take care of the wheels and stuff i don't i'm not gonna beat the crap out of them but the, you know the bed Anything you need to work, you need to haul some wood or something, I'll use this bed because it's 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 used and abused, and it's you know, I'll, I'll abuse it too. You know, that one's still in good shape, so I'm not going to beat the crap out of that one. Oh, it's pulling a truck. Well, you know, that's, that's the point. I've got a play truck and a work truck. So that one's a play truck cruising, just glides along now with the new tie rods. It's just wonderful. And yeah, once I get a six gear in that, man, it'll just cruise right along. So, yeah, work truck, play truck. This one definitely does the work I need it to. So I'm very grateful to have two trucks. It's expensive. Trust me on that. But it is just very nice to have this truck come from the place it did, which is a complete and utter pile of crap, to where it is now. I'm... At this point, I think I'm about twelve or about fifteen thousand dollars into this truck, and that is purchasing the truck, the engine, every other knickknacky part, this, that, the other. So, fifteen grand into this truck isn't bad, considering the fact that it's starting to ride and drive like it's brand spanking new, and this really does help. I tell you, it really does help add the feel. And this console was like three hundred bucks, so that doesn't really help, but. I didn't. I don't like the bench flip-up thing. I don't care for that. I like my, my storage. So, but yeah, we'll make it a little more pimped out, and it'll really look good. And well, like I said, you won't even know it's got 350,000 miles. I love doing that, taking an old truck, making it like brand spanking new. Just the only other problem, the really expensive problem with this truck, is that the rockers are going pretty damn bad. Before I could. There was a, like a hole the size of my uh, pinky. Well, I got underneath there this season, and I pushed on it, and it just caved right in. You could pretty much push your fist through it now. I'm like, that's great. Yep. Just throw some spray paint down. It'll look good. <laughs> but uh, that's all I've been doing is throwing some rust converting spray paint on it. It looks halfway decent. So, But I knew the rockers were going shortly after I bought it because he said it was rock spray. Well, whatever. So, but the guy I bought it from didn't have it very long, apparently. So he didn't really know anything about it too much. So, yeah. But I appreciate you guys watching and sticking along. I mean, it's it's definitely a build, and it keeps coming along. Uh, we're definitely gonna get everything matching. That way, it doesn't feel so pieced together. That's that's gonna be a huge, awesome thing to have. So, but I mean, I. Yeah, I put the brake line. I also put a new front hub on the driver's side. Timken, of course. So we're good to go for a very long time. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, God bless.